What is up YouTube? It has been a long time since I ever posted an update video, but this is vital. And for those of you that are not in the know, I'm going to make sure you're in the know because if you don't know, I am back on YouTube streaming. Now, I hate to bore some people with the de details involving me leaving YouTube streaming, but I want to do this for clarity purposes. Therefore, if you already know about why I stopped streaming on YouTube, I'll leave a timestamp in the description section below so that you can skip the explanation and get to the more interesting biddies of this video, which is details involving what's going to happen with YouTube streaming. So let's get into it. I left the YouTube streaming a few years ago. I left because my channel was dealt a huge below when Google made a bunch of changes that hurt my channel. Oftentimes I got reports from active viewers that they got either notified super late or never got notified of my streams. And there have even been active viewers that have been uh, automatically unsubscribed from my channel by YouTube itself due to sloppy purges. Now for those of you that don't know, a few years ago YouTube has been doing a lot of purging. And what YouTube was doing was they were trying to get rid of bots, but the issue was that they were not only getting rid of bots, but they have also been a, a negatively impacting channels by actually getting rid of active viewers. And the even bigger problem with YouTube a few years ago was the elimination of YouTube gaming. Why was that bad? It was bad because YouTube gaming was great for streamers on YouTube because it made it so much easier for streamers to get noticed and get new viewers. YouTube eliminated it because they felt as though YouTube gaming wasn't getting enough attention. Therefore, the focus shifted back to the creation of videos and streaming was less important to YouTube. Now, as a streamer, you have to pay attention to things. And I observed the results of those changes and I noticed that my viewership was getting cut in half, which led to my decision to move over to Twitch. I didn't want to be at the mercy of an algorithm. I didn't like the fact that my viewers were, were being disenfranchised in terms of being notified of my stream, so that is one of the biggest reasons why I left. I wanted to go somewhere more stable. And the fact that video game videos became less impactful, uh, that sucked too, because that made it even more difficult to be found. So I wanted to go somewhere where I didn't have to worry about an algorithm constantly shifting likes, d dislikes. <laughs> oh my God. I was trying to say dislikes. I'm just putting that out there right there. And the number of clicks. So when I stream on Twitch, you know, I felt comfortable. You know, I didn't have to worry about having the numbers as much in order to do well. All I had to do was focus on the stream, have fun, and, you know, help everyone feel the power of positive vibes. Because when people feel the energy that you're giving off, that positive energy, they're going to feel it too. It's like you get, you get in return what you dish out. So if you're dishing out positivity, you're going to get that back in volume. So, I mean, that's the name of the game. That's what I want. So while on YouTube, you need numbers in order to get more attention. And I have watched my friends stream on YouTube and I noticed how they were only getting rated by people they already knew. It was kind of rare to see completely new streamers raid um, people on YouTube. You know, I'm not sure how different it is now. Not, you know, but we'll find out. We'll definitely find out. Because um, last time that I checked, I did get raided recently, but that was only due to people knowing me. 
but we'll see what happens in due time. So let's go into more detail about how streaming on YouTube is going to work. What is the plan? What is the plan that some of you may not be aware of? So pretty much, I'm planning the stream on YouTube Thursdays and Fridays. Um, I also am thinking about streaming on YouTube during the weekend when I'm able to because I felt like giving myself a few days of rest will prevent burnout. I want to make it clear that every decision I made was what I thought was best for the community I built. The problem is when it comes to streaming, I tend to put all of my eggs in one basket instead of spreading it out, which led to singling out a part of my community. I failed to pay attention to that part. All platforms have issues, so it is important to have a backup in case something goes wrong. Therefore, I am streaming on YouTube again for real this time. For real, this is not fake news. You can even look back at some of my videos and see I've been streaming on YouTube quite frequently as of late. So, Twitch is looking quite sloppy right now, and it seems as though they do not have an answer for the botting problems that is currently happening. Um, so far, every stream I am constantly getting hit with Instagram follower bots in the chat. You know, my chat gets flooded with an infinite barrage of spam messages about a stupid Insta follower program. <sighs> the community cannot chat because of it. And to make matters worse, I have to use the followers only option to stop it. And that makes it impossible or just makes it more difficult extremely difficult for new viewers to communicate without a follow which forces them to follow i don't like that because it doesn't give new viewers a legitimate opportunity to make a decision based on interaction now i have to constantly explain why i have the follower only option on because people find it lame and i agree you know i never used follower on the follower only option simply because it's not valued you know the follow doesn't feel earned you know it forces people to choose and to make matters worse there are some people that will leave the moment that they notice it's on especially if they don't understand what's currently happening with twitch because people are being forced to use the follow only method in order to put a stop to the chats being flooded with spam because if the chats is being flooded with spam it makes it impossible for viewers to actually communicate with the streamer because all you're going to see is that stupid insta follow message thing it's terrible so that messes with positive growth so the botting could even negatively impact notifications as well since more of the bots would get the notifications instead of active viewers and there are, there has also been multiple res reports of a streamer that lost a megaton of followers after trying to get rid of bots them get rid of the bots themselves and it's not just one. It, this is many people that suffering from this. And there was one guy that lost 95% of his followers during his attempt to rid himself of the bots. You know, it's all pretty freaking scary. You know, therefore, I'm playing the stream on YouTube as well. So I'm going to be streaming on both Twitch and YouTube. So when it comes to youtube i plan to stream on youtube on thursdays and fridays at eight o'clock p.m central standard time to 11 o'clock p.m central standard time and i also will include weekends when i'm free keyword when i'm free because i usually try to rest up during the weekends but I also want to make weekends available for YouTube when I have the opportunity to stream. But Thursday and Friday, that's going to be the daily. 
daily streams on YouTube on YouTube Thursday and Friday. So look forward to that. And then if I do something on the weekend, you will be notified for sure. Um, if you would like to visit me on Twitch, then you're going to find me on there Monday through Wednesday, 8 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time to 11 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. And based on the issues I have with both platforms, I plan to stream on both. You know, it's better not to put all your eggs in one basket. That way your community will always know where you are in case the worst happens. Plus, I want to give my YouTube streams as much as I can offer. So I will be adding more when I find tools that work for YouTube. Because right now I'm struggling to find song request options that work over there. I will be bringing back, uh, you know, like the commands that I used to do in the past where people could trigger sound effects and stuff like that. I plan on bringing that back. Um, so consider all of that a working in progress. Um, I have updated the memberships to provide fun emotes for you guys to use if you choose to provide additional support. Now the really cool thing about YouTube is the basic membership is only $2. That's freaking amazing actually. That would not break the wallet and with the $2 It'll give you emotes and loyalty badges as well as a shout out screen for the start of every stream so everyone will know what you have done for the channel. The $5 membership will allow you to request streams during a two week cycle so every two weeks you'll be able to request the stream if you wish to do so. And the $10 membership will give you access to more personal streams collabs and give you the option to take part in a discord voice chat for a stream of your choosing so let's say you know that i'm going to be doing a mario galaxy stream and you want to join me in that stream through a discord voice chat you can request that at any time so as I come up with more ideas, I'll be sure to give you information as it becomes available. I look forward to seeing you wherever I see you. Shout out to all of you that watch this video up to this point. And those of you that still support me, supported me for all these years. I cannot wait to see you again. Thank you so much for everything, and I look forward to making this year lit for the entire community, because the objective here is to bring the community closer together. Did I forget to mention that I have a Minecraft Discord server? I'm just saying. So, I'll see you guys next time. Peace and God bless. Thank you.